Hello guys, so I'm gonna share with you this plugin that you can use to upload your directory listings. And this plugin, I created it just using byte coding, so it's very simple and I'm gonna make a comparison why you will need this plugin instead of the available ones in WordPress. So here, I'm just gonna have a sample listing. So let's go ahead with pharmacy category and here, I'll just select Australia. And here, we're just gonna limit it to maybe 100 and let's get business data. Now that we successfully uh, straight it, we're gonna download this. And here, once you have the CSV file, make sure you save this as XLXS or Excel file. So I'm just gonna save this as Excel file. So here, just choose this first one, XLSX, and just name it as pharmacy. So we're gonna have a smaller file and we will be able to use this plugin, which I'm gonna show you. You will save thousands using this plugin. All right, now that you have the Excel file, here is the sample template that we will use to create the directory. So we just vibe using this template right here. So if you want to grab this template, this custom prompt, the link is in the description. So you just need to fit this in your client, in your VS code. So as you can see, I'm going to client and then here in the VS code, we use that custom prompt to create the team. All right. So you just need to do that. And once you have the team and it's working in your local, so create an image in GPT, a hero section and also the logo. So it will appear like this. So you can just adjust the opacity of this hero section based on your needs. And once you have all this set up in your local and everything is working, so you go ahead and have your live host ready because this is where we're gonna use the plugin. So let me show you quickly. I'm just gonna go to website and here I'm just gonna set up a temporary WordPress website. So here I'm using Hostinger so I can create multiple WordPress website in just a single hosting. So in the plan that I selected, I can host up to 50 WordPress website. Now here, let's create a new WordPress website. So here, if you don't, have a domain yet that's fine if you just want a staging site so i'm just going to create a blank wordpress and here i'm just going to choose the temporary domain so while our wordpress in is installing i'm just going to show you once you have converted your csv file to excel what you just need to do to clean up your listings a little bit so because our listing will be categorized via state or via region here as you can see here these are the states now what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate the filter right here and here and click this ascending and you will have the states in ascending all order. So it's not yet in ascending. Let's do that once again. All right. So because we just scraped 100, so I think this is the ascending order. Now you will notice some states that are in shortened version. So look at this NSW and the uh, full version is New South Wales. So you just need to fix them so that when we categorize them, it will appear correctly in our directory. So just have a look and cor correct all those shortened version state name. All right, so when you feel that everything is corrected, because we just had a sample listing, 100 list right here on pharmacy in Australia. So make sure you save this. And now our WordPress is ready. Our temporary WordPress is ready. Now we're gonna upload first the team that we fight good using this custom prompt. So here you go to appearance and then teams. So we're gonna add team and here we're gonna upload team. So we're gonna browse our team, but first, here in the files, make sure you hit this. This is our team file. So I'm gonna go to the actual fo folder and here I'm gonna compress this. Now that it's in zip file, I can now drag this here and install the team. Now let's activate the team. Now that it is activated, we need to install the plugin called ACF or Advanced Custom Fields. So just install this plugin right here and activate that. And now that it's activated, go to ACF right here and go to Field Groups. You will see right here the sync available. So click that and here we just need to import this. All right, that's done. Now this is the plugin that you will need to upload the CSV or the Excel listings. Now again, go to plugins and click this add plugin. Now we're going to upload the plugin. So this one is available in the link below if you want to use this, but I'm just going to show you how you're going to effectively use this to upload your listing. So I'm just going to import this. So this is called XSX to custom post importer. So let's install this. Now let's activate this. All right, that's done. So you will find that. You go to the tools and you'll see right here this XLSX importer. So click that. And now we're going to browse the clean version of our Excel file. Remember, you have to clean the state name right here. And let's browse that now. And click this upload and parse file. And here we're going to select the custom post type. So for now, I'm just going to choose this. But this is a pharmacy. I just didn't change the custom post type title. Anyway, it's the same structure. The custom fields are all the same. I'm just using this for the demo. So load fields. And what's nice about this, look at this advanced custom fields. It will map automatically. If the same 
key here in the advanced custom fields matching the same column names here in your Excel, then it will match correctly right here. So you don't have to touch everything. Now, the only thing you need to configure is the taxonomy mapping and some here in the WordPress core field. So the content, we will map the attributes and the featured image. We will map the main image. So we will have the image of each listing. And you scroll down to taxonomy right here. This will categorize our listing. So the parent category or the taxonomy will be the region, which is the state. That's why we fix the naming of the states. So here, just select the states and the children will be the city. So we just select this tool and it will automatically map each listing. The parent will be the state and each state will have multiple cities. Now click on start import. So here you will see the progress of the listings. Don't close this page while the import is working. Now, even if you have 5,000 or 10,000 listings, you can leave this page importing and then just come back once it's done. So it will work even without your supervision. Just make sure you don't close this. Now that it's done, so you will see the summary here. And I'm not sure why it's just imported 75, but anyway, let's see. Oh, it's 100. It's just the display here, but everything has been in imported. As you can see, we have 100 listings. Now, when you go to the actual site, and you will see right here, this is our pharmacy page and we have the stakes right here and we have the beautiful listings of all the pharmacy that we imported. And let's click one of the pharmacy. You'll see it displayed beautifully and we have all the details right here. Look at the business hours, the address, everything. So we just vibe code this custom team using this prompt right here, using Sonnet for as the model and it perfectly up appeared for us. So that's how easy you can import any number of uh, business listings using this Excel XS custom post importer. Now I'm going to show you why I stopped using all the available listings before I was using the ultimate CSD. The problem there is, let me just quickly install that. So I was using this port export suite CSV by Smackcoder in my previous videos of creating directory. Uh, the only problem here, well, it worked well, but uh, I'm going to show you why I needed to create our own custom plugin to upload our listings. So once it's installed, you can now start porting this. So we're going to have to click this import CSV. This is okay if you're just uploading a small listing, like 500 listings, 100 listings, that's fine. But 1000 and above, I start seeing issues because here, so let's browse the same file. And here we just click the Republic custom post. And here it has the same fields right here. As you can see, it's also mapping. But the only thing is I won't be able to create my custom taxonomy parent and uh, children. Now there is an option to do that where you need to go to drag and drop. And now you have to manually drag and drop all the fields right here in the ACF, which is not an issue. So I was doing that. I was mapping everything, just doing drag, drag and drop. So you do this, just drag the item like that. And then here to create the proper taxonomy, what you have to do is first drag the region and then here put a comma. And then to create the children, again, you drag the region and then have to do hyphen and then this arrow to the left and drag the city. So this structure will create the parent taxonomy as the state and then the children will be the cities. Now, no problem on this one. And then you click on continue. The only problem is when I was uploading large data, let's, let's say 5,000 listings and in the middle, every 200 or 300 uploads, I was getting error. And now I needed to repeat I to configure. So I'm going to come back to this step and then map them again, map the fields once more do the same process. And if I had the error again, so we will do it continuously over and over again until you complete the big listings. And here we are not able to save their behavior or so that we won't be doing it again because you will need a pro. So if you need it, you need to save it. So there will be an eager here that you can save so that whenever you reload it again, you don't need to drag and drop, but you need a pro version. So you have to pay that. There's also other tools with, which is all in WP import. That's the name of the plugin. The same thing. If you need to save the state, you need to upgrade it to pro. So that's why I created this simple tool which I'm going to provide you below if you want to use it, this Excel SX importer. So you just drag 5,000 or 2,000 listings and then you just leave the page running and it will import all your listings just like how I did it here. All right. So hopefully guys, it's helpful for you. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you think and see you in the next one.